Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video. Excuse the shaky arm, it's only going to take a couple seconds so I didn't set up my tripod. But today we are doing part two of my collab with Anna from Anna. You may remember a couple weeks ago now I think, or maybe like a month ago <laughs> would be more accurate. We did a collab where we swapped stickers from each other's shops and used as many stickers as we could in a single spread. So in case you missed that, I will leave it linked up in a card above. I have no idea what the light is doing. Right. We thought it'd be fun to recreate each other's spreads. So she recreated the spread that I made using her stickers and right now we're going to recreate the spread she made using my stickers. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. All right, we're just gonna have a little quick chit chat and then we're gonna go into speed so we can get this done. This, I've printed out a picture of Anna's spread so I can keep it here in front of me. I am going to look at the video real quick just to kind of remember what order she did everything in. Holy crap, girl, like slow down. <laughs> this is so fast. All right, I think I got the gist of it. She did watercolor, the lines in the background. I need to put the stickers on with the days of the week. I'm gonna have to figure out something different for the numbers. Uh, and I, she did use a couple of her own stickers and stickers from her stash, which I don't have. But we're gonna do our best. If you notice my stickers, a lot of them, uh, either the format is different from that in the final shop, so like, this is not how that sheet looks, and a lot of these stickers are cut super off-center. Um, that is, or the colors are wrong. That's because for stickers of mine that I use, I use, like, mess-ups and misfits and stuff like that. So, if it looks funky, just ignore it. <laughs> it would not be a Leanne video without my phone going off. Alright, I've also pulled out some Stalgy paper because I know she did her spread in Stalgy. I'm doing mine in my creative journal which does not have watercolor paper in it or water friendly paper. So I'm going to cover up this here and I'm hoping maybe I'll be able to see the dots through it which will be cool for the galaxy. I have also pulled out my watercolor palette. I'm pretty sure she used the Jane Davenport watercolors, so I'm going to pull out this one as well because that's where I have those. So I should be able to match some of those colors pretty well. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay. First, I am laying my paper down, but I wanted to take this moment to talk to you about how this recreation kind of came about. So, this is not me so much recreating what she did, it's I'm literally creating what she did. So, normally when I would do these types of videos, I would take the general concept like, weekly spread, these are the stickers to use, galaxy theme, watercolor in the background, and then just do my own thing and run with it. Uh, kind of use her page as inspiration, if you will. But she had suggested that we do this, and I kind of was like, yeah, we should do that. And then I hadn't quite gotten around to recreating the spread yet. And she recreated mine like it, it looks exactly like it. it it was crazy. So she sent me a photo and it was a very like creepy, surreal experience to see a spread that looked exactly like yours in somebody else's journal that you didn't create, that they created. It was just really, it was a bizarre experience. So I wanted to recreate this experience for her so that she could see what this felt like. And I also thought it would create a great opportunity for us to talk about the difference between copying someone and taking their page as inspiration. Now there's always a fine line between that and uh, normally I would not do this type of copying. I would think of this as a big no-no because we're doing this as a collab, it's fine, but if I were just to 
watch someone's video, I would never copy it, like, or try to copy it, sticker for sticker, placement, color for color, all that other stuff. I wouldn't try to wholly recreate the exact spread because that feels like stealing. And a lot of people have trouble understanding how you could just take it as inspiration. So I wanted to talk about the elements I would have pulled from Anna's spread as inspiration. So for example, if I liked the background she did, I could have done these colors even exactly this way if I chose to, but I probably would have reordered them or maybe substituted out some different tones and stuff. And then taken those stickers and totally not even looked at her spread and made some type of weekly thing. Would it have looked similar to what she did? Yes, but it wouldn't have been copying. And this is a great way to learn. Coffee equals dry time. That, that's what's going on on the screen. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> but you can, you can pull things from people's spread and not copy it. One thing I really liked that she did that I never would have thought to do was write the days of the week on my taco stickers. I thought that was genius. I never think to write my days of the week on image stickers. I always think, oh, I need a blank sticker or I need a label sticker or I need somebody else's handwriting in a sticker. <laughs> So that is something I think I'm going to try to remember to use in my own journal, which is really fun, is write the days of the week on those stickers. I also really like, you'll see it later on, the little swirls that she did to kind of connect the planets together. That was really fun. So anyway, I hope that talk about style made sense and it wasn't too repeaty. Not that that's a word, but you know what I mean. Uh, let me know what your thoughts about copying versus inspiration are down in the description box below. Again, I just want to reiterate in case you missed that part that I do not think it is a good idea unless someone explicitly tells you to, to recreate the exact same thing that they did. Um, just, just FYI. <laughs> so anyway, finally, let's talk about what we're doing here. So I did the background, the watercolor. I loved how they were running into each other. Also, one of the reasons I like these soft cover journals is because I was able to fold it in on itself, kind of. I took part of the back and moved it to the front so that I had a flat surface to work on because of where I was in the insert. So that was fun. Took some craft paper and tore out some little pieces to put behind the headers. I am going to use this as kind of some kind of weekly recap or maybe like a gratitude spread or something like that. So I didn't put the dates on the papers, but I did put the days of the week. I also used a different Corgi sticker because obviously I didn't have her exact Corgi, but I used one where you could see the front of the face so that that pizza would be recreated. I also noticed while I was doing this that the journal I, like not the journal, but the page that I chose to do it on was much smaller than her journal. So some of the spacing was a little difficult, but it, it worked out fine, I think. I took a little bit of creative license with the washi strips on the bottom there, but these are those circles I was talking about. So. This experience of doing this was, it was a weird thing, sensation to create. It felt very much like building a puzzle, kind of. I'm just trying to make sure all the right pieces go in the right place, if you will. I didn't do it exact. There were some of the moon designs that didn't match up or sizes or whatever, but overall it looks almost identical to her spread and I sent it to her and she, agreed that it was a creepy <laughs> but very cool experience um so yeah it like i said it was very interesting i look forward to taking away those things that i talked about and using them in my own spreads especially this thing right here where you do the i don't 
don't even know what to call them, like the orbit circles or whatever. It's just really cool. I'm using a colored pencil for that in this yellow color. And I do really like this combination of the dark blues with the purple and the pink and then that light yellow thing. I never would have put those colors together. I would have just picked three colors in the same tone and then used them like that. So that was fun to kind of experiment with. My favorite part is coming up and these are the, oh no, it's not, hold on. We're not there yet. Brushing it, rushing it, Leanne. I'm back to using tape runners because my patience for double-sided tape is not there lately, especially with these quick jobs. So there's that. I mean, I still have my double-sided tape, don't get me wrong. You saw me use it in the beginning, but I am back to the convenience of the ever so expensive tape runner. So just finishing up those date covers there. I don't even know what you call them. They're not date covers because I'm not covering a date. That's a planner term. Yeah, Lord help me. Um, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Okay, this is my favorite part. The Corgi Astronauts. I thought this was such a fantastic idea and I wish I had thought of it, but it was all her. So she put little bubbles around the Corgi heads so that they looked like they were floating in space like little astronauts. And I loved it kind of want to make everything into an astronaut now. Like, I don't know, a succulent astronaut. That'd be weird. It could be like floating in a bubble in space. We might have to do that at some point. Anywho, I'm taking a gray colored pencil and just adding a little bit of cloudiness to the little bubbles so that they look like it's a helmet and not just a weird circle halo thing. I added the little light reflective part on it so that it looks like it's glass. And then I was trying to do some splatters because that's what it looked like she did, but in my pen wasn't cooperative. Oh my gosh, I was just in like mid sentence and got a tickle in my throat and had like a serious coughing fit. So apologies if my voice sounds different now. I think I was trying to say that I was gonna, my pen wasn't cooperating, so I was gonna put stars and some dots on there, which it looks like I did. And there's her page compared to my page. And then I decided to keep the photo in there so I could kind of journal about our collaboration. So I turned it up a little bit and then I'm going to pick a journaling card to put on the back so that I can journal about our collaboration. So yeah. Thank you so much, Anna, for suggesting this and doing this and waiting to publish your video so that I could also participate. I had so much fun with this. Let me know your thoughts on copying slash copying versus taking things as inspiration below. Let's have a cool discussion on it, a civil discussion, though. Please. <laughs> so that is it for me today you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me please do not forget to go over to Anna's channel to check out her version of this video it should be up at the exact same time I should have said that in the beginning of the video so sorry about that but that's what's going on over there a huge thank you to my patrons for sponsoring today's video they make what I do here on YouTube possible they allow me to pay my bills and uh, post videos on so yeah it's, it's really awesome. I have some exciting things coming up, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss them. You can hit the notification bell if you're a super fan, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye! Prepara.